Hey guys, RTT back here for that video guys. Today we're taking a look at the iPad concept that will be coming out most likely in quarter three in September this year for Apple. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now we have a design concept, a, you know, just a little bit of a formula to look at what it might actually look like. Now, according to Mac rumors, this is the leaked actual a leaked 3D image of it. So we'll see if that ends up being how it actually looks. But what you're going to see right away is it looks a lot like the old iPads. What's going on here? Yes, guys, there's no real cosmetic differences when it comes to the chassis uh, from last generation to this generation. The only thing different already up the top is the bezels will be a little bit different. Also, we see a little bit different when it comes to the camera lens. That's also something that's a little bit changed. Now, going ahead and reading what they said in this article, rumors suggest Apple plans to announce two new iPad models, both 11 inch and 12.9 inch versions. And today's images offer perhaps the clearest indication yet that Apple's next generation iPad Pro will have minimum, if any, exterior design changes so like i said guys very much what it used was last year gonna be exactly the same now the differences between this one and that one is going to be a new a series chip performance expected to significantly improve so again like we saw with a lot of times with apple is they don't always change out the chassis and you know make the chassis look different a lot of times it's almost exactly the same exact ipad or same exact iphone but it is just interior different. Now, the other thing that they did improve was and change was the camera lens uh, won't actually protrude as much as it did with the old iPads. It still will protrude though, so it's not like it's completely flush like what we saw with the Galaxy uh, S21 phones that just came out. Another thing is that the speaker grill might be a little bit different. They're actually talking about doing less speakers in the iPad and moving around like where they actually center them, which could go ahead and change audio performance. I don't think they're going to change it in a negative way. I think it obviously is so Apple is still going to make a really good product, but they might go ahead and change it depending on, you know, the design and how it looks. Obviously, Apple's all about how it looks. Now, they're also suggesting that Apple will release a standard iPad Pro 11.11 11 inch and 12.9 inch updates, which also suggests that they could release a separate high end mini LED 12.9 inch display model, which could be 0.5 millimeter thicker to accommodate the higher uh, spec display. Uh, they believe that Apple is also working on a 5G iPad with millimeter wave support which could also be positioned as a high-end iPad Pro, and a 5G could also release alongside a new mini LED display. Um, so again, a lot of content we could be seeing sometime, as you see right here with the mini LED, we could see that as soon as when the, I, when the uh, MacBook Pros come out in March. We could see that come out then, and then obviously these new iPad Pros come out at the end of the season, the third quarter of this year which is september so again guys a lot of awesome content a lot of awesome stuff coming for this year you guys know you we are going to be providing all the updates on apple fox all the releases that we see all the rumors kind of getting you guys ready what to expect should you buy the brand new one or should you buy the old one and right now based on cosmetic differences if that's what important to you the old one's exactly the same as the new one but if you are about what's underneath the hood, all the horsepower, we will go ahead and give you guys the updates as time goes on. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.